there it's great that you've tuned in I'm really happy to be on your screen because today we've got a fantastic painty crafty lesson for you today we'll be painting this little feeding blue cap now this concept would work on any subject but I've chosen a feeding blue cap because I have a real connection with this image you see these little guys used to feed on our morning milk before we collected it they peck a hole in the lid and then drink the cream this funny occurrence stopped in the late 80s when everybody became health conscious and switched to low fat milk obviously the blue caps didn't mind being a little bit voluptuous so let's get into it the first thing we need to do is cover our canvas in newsprint now I'm going to use my local paper for this but I'll only be using the black and white parts no colors I'll also be using some pages from this book now don't hate on me for cutting up a book I love books I've had this for years and I loved reading it but now it must be sacrificed for the sake of art but it shall be reborn in a new story a visual story so let's cut these out so I go through the paper and pick out any stories that are interesting or funny maybe and I take out a few pages of my book once we've cut out our paper we can apply it and the best type of adhesive to use for this job is Montmartre PVA craft glue the support that I'm using is a 40 by 50 double thick canvas and this is fantastic because the frame is quite robust and it'll be less inclined to warp as the glue dries so let's get this glue on obviously it is best to apply the glue when the canvas is flat gee look how much fun I'm having once we have our glue on we can spread it out with a large handled gesso brush and these are great because the fibers are fairly stiff so you can smooth it out nice and evenly and evenly is the key word any lumps or bumps will show up once I'm happy with the glue distribution I apply my paper there is no set rules to this just add the paper where you see fit once the canvas is covered I can apply my smaller pieces if you do this remember to securely hold the page down in one hand and apply the glue away from you over the edge this way you will ensure that the glue totally covers the entire sheet when you lay a sheet down make sure it doesn't slide around as I add to my collage I try to sporadically lay paper shapes down I don't want it to be too uniform and I want to create that interest now that our front is done flip it over and we paint the sides and this is easy just apply the glue with your brush again and fold it up the final part of this stage is to add some glue onto the back side now just cut the excess off this is easy but try to keep it nice and neat once you're done stand it up let it dry and we're ready for the next exciting step so if you would like to paint a blue cap too then you can find this image at montmart.net from there just go to the TV section and then download the how to paint a blue cap PDF from there you could either trace it up or you could grid it up or you could do like me and draw it in directly from the PDF to draw it up I'm using a black Montmartre colored pencil so the gray doesn't get lost so let's get this bird on now I'm obviously painting a bird here but due to the style of this artwork it would lend itself to other types of subjects like still life fruit would look great in a kitchen there that's the general form in you don't need a lot of information just the outline is great now the whole point of using newsprint as a support is when we lay our paint on we need to get those complex patterns of the written word underneath the paint so we don't want to obliterate that interesting feature of our artwork 
with a paint that's too opaque. So I'm going to recommend that we use Montmartre watercolour paints. And these are beautiful because they're so translucent. Now, to apply our paint, we're going to use my favourite brush, the number 12 angle. And we'll also be using a plastic Montmartre brush washer. The palette will be the same palette as you used for your glue. And the really fantastic thing about these palettes is you can take the excess colours or adhesives off. Have a look at this. Voila! I can now squeeze out my watercolours. And this depends on the chosen bird. I mix in a little water and slap it on. I'm not covering the whole canvas. I'm merely just accenting around my bird for this background colour. Sometimes I think it is helpful not to think too much about where you place your colour. Try and let instinct take over. Now I add some Chinese white. I tint this with blue and paint it into the edges so that the bottle looks round. I then lay some white heavily into the middle to suggest a highlight. I then take some lemon yellow and scrub it into my birdie's tummy. I then add some Prussian blue to the yellow and add it onto the birdie's back. Now I paint the wings blue and blend that out to violet on my friend's tail. Time now for some black. I lay this into the legs and that collar marking and the eye stripe. I can now reinforce the bird with white and add these to his cheeks. A bit of a highlight and Bob's your uncle. Now, in regards to the painting, I'm quite happy with the level of rendering I've got at this stage. You might like to add more detail or you might have stopped a while ago and that's okay too. The last step that we're going to do is to add some silver leafing onto the top of the bottle here and this will suggest a foil lid and although it's only a small step I think it adds a lot to helping convey the story of a little bird feeding on a bottle of milk. So for our gold leafing we'll be using Montmartre silver leaf and we'll be applying it with Montmartre leafing size. Now this is basically just a special glue that you use with gold and silver leafing. So squeeze that in, out into our palette and let's get it on. Paint this just where you want the leaf to stick to. Our leafing size is now dry and I can tell that because it's quite tacky but not wet. So take out the silver leaf, lift it up and fold back the tissue paper backing sheet and gently apply the silver leafing. Once it's stuck down, you can remove the excess with a soft brush or your finger. This is optional, but I'm just laying a shadow in and a fold mark with black. And with that, our artwork is complete. And wasn't it fun, quick and simple? And if you'd like more Montmartre art lessons, you can find them at montmartre.net. And when you're there, maybe you'd like to ask a question. Or maybe you'd just like to see what's happening in the art world today. Or maybe you'd like to share some of your work on our online gallery. All of these things can be found at montmartre.net. You might like to join our Facebook or maybe even join our family feed where you'll receive great weekly hints and tips. So until next time, keep on painting. Thank you.